What we're going to make is a PVC pipe using half inch PVC pipe stand uh, for an RC plane. And it's all based on the following. Here's our design. These cross pieces here will be seven inches. This one, ten inches. This one, twenty inches. Okay. And so we'll make one of these. Here we'll have a uh, cross piece. Here is a uh, this is a cross piece. Fitting right there. And here we have a 45 degree fitting. And at the bottom when we do this, we're going to make two required. And we're going to need two other pieces. Twenty inches here. And here we have ninety degree fitting. When the whole thing's assembled, it's going to look something like this. And we'll have some pipe insulation there, and we have a map that will hold our RC plane at the field before we uh, take off getting everything ready, installing batteries and, and so on. So this is what we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you uh, very quickly uh, how to do that. First we take the uh, PVC pipe and then measure off. I'm measuring right now the uh, uh, 7 inch segment. And then we cut that. And I like to use these cutters. Makes a nice cut. There you have it. And we're going to do that several more times. Cut the different lengths, which you'll see in the uh, in the end, the uh, different lengths that we cut. So there's a half inch pipe. Next step is to apply the glue for this after all the pieces are cut. So this is, uh, for example, the 20 inch piece at the bottom. Put that in there and then that's it. I like to wipe off the excess. This is not going to be watertight, so it'll work just fine. There you have it. And that's the process for gluing. And we put all the connectors in the appropriate places. Now I'm going to glue the other end to this. And once this connector is on, it has to be flat with the other, parallel. So we'll put our glue, put this in, and make sure you have a clean work area. And then just push everything down like that. And you'll have uh, everything nice and square. When, uh, when it comes to assembling the entire system. Okay, I'm going to glue the top pieces in, those shorter ones, onto the frame. And these just push in and turn.
And there you go. Okay, the next step, you want to uh, use some of this pipe insulation. And uh, you want to measure it, because it's going to go over the top piece. And use a scissor to get a good even cut. You see that? Now this has a strip of uh, adhesive. And um, what I like to do is put it on there first and then peel off the adhesive. Because this half inch for half inch copper pipe, so it's a little bit too narrow. But once it's on there, it's going to stay there. And if you have to remove it, you can cut it off. But it'll work just fine. So you just put it on there like this and peel off this stuff and then just grab it and squish it. And it'll adhere and you'll have everything just sitting there happily. There you go. And we'll do that to the remaining three short pieces. Okay, at this point, I'd recommend not gluing the, uh, the back end here, these pieces, because what you'll have is a nice flat uh, device, which is uh, easily transported. So the bottom rails, just go ahead and do that. Put this upside down. Do that. So these are not glued, so you can do this. And uh, they have a finished product. It's, it'll do the job just well, just fine. And very inexpensive. That's less than ten dollars of material. So uh, now you have a stand for your plane when you're getting everything ready for your flight. I hope you enjoyed this video.